hey guys welcome back to this channel so today is different from um regular videos i used to shoot and i said this year we'll be doing different content but still in agricultural niche okay so today i'm taking you guys along on the production of plantain chips from start to finish i'm tired of sitting down and describing how to do it today we are doing it live and direct so i'm here at my friend's place she's the one that is into plantain chips business so please after this video people should rush out with your orders because she can deliver don't let me talk too much let us dive into the video in proper so if you like videos like this please subscribe also let me note this that this is a small scale um production not a large scale production so if you're looking at starting plantain chips business on a small scale you can reach out to our consultant she's the expert she will put you guys through without wasting our time let's dive into today's video so if you like videos like this don't forget to subscribe smash the like button If she wants to write, make she talk. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will make her give her pen and write. This one I wait. This one I write and I write. No sound of Russian. First I will pillar and I will be sick. No sound of the process of planting. Anyway, I'm here. Because I will see there other words before. Most people are going to rest like Monday to Wednesday. Since I expensive. Since I have very... You hey, give me this your banana soccer. This one is about for me. Hmm? This all this baby soccer coming out. Yes, they give me banana soccer. This your banana too big. But why did you know they big? They big. Now dry season. My banana they big. I look over them. You are good to go. I will add this thing to them. Oh yeah, one, two, go. So, hello everybody. Be free now. Be yourself. Now free person channel you come. <laughs> Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good, good evening, evening, whatever the time is. My name is Larry Ladam. I'm a lawyer, a mother, I have two lovely children. So what I'm here to talk about plantain chips. Basically, when I'm idle, I look for something to do. That is how I started. I started a little bit, then somehow we keep growing day by day. Then you now wonder why is the lawyer doing plantain chips? Well, I've got two lovely daughter to take care of. I needed time for myself and my kids. I still do my Lagos stuff. But instead of staying at home idle and waiting for jobs to come, I do this and more when I'm not doing any legal job. So basically, plantain chips is something you can do without much capital. You can start with 10,000, 20, 50, depending on what you have. But gradually you keep developing. That is how I started. And right now, I can tell you I don't meet up my orders. It's a good business to dive into. Well, just sit down and watch and see how the process is being done. Thank you. As you all know, I'm an advocate of you starting small and growing. And like she said, she started small. I actually know the beginning of the of the starting. She started with just two bunch of plantain. And of, as of today, she saw, she's even looking for plantain to buy. And this is an opportunity for plantain farmers. If you have plantain that you can supply in large quantity, you can reach out to me. Please, oh, you know, this is um, production. So it should be affordable. I don't want to say affordable because this is the year for farmers. We have to make our money, like I told her. But please, if you have plantain, you don't have a market to sell, you can sup you can reach out to her and you guys will negotiate and you will supply to her. Okay. So what is this process called? This first one you're doing now. What is it called? I'm By the time you say no one pillam before. I will pill them. I know yeah. be fire. I know go slice them. Okay, now go slice them. Mm -hmm. go you want me to the yes. so, so what is this one you are doing now? I'm trying to peel and sort the plantain. In this bath now I have three sets of plantain. Mm -hmm. Ripe, semi-ripe and unripe. Mm -hmm. So as I'm peeling them, I'm sorting them, separating them into three badges. Mm -hmm. The reason why we sort is that the ripe ones will not fry at the same space with the unripe one. Okay. Then also, some people prefer the unripe. Why some people prefer the ripe? Sometimes I also have overripe plantain. Mm. But right now I don't have that mm. presently. Oh, 
thôi So why they put salt for the water now? To add salt to the plantain. To give it taste? Yes. Mm. So it's not that you sprinkle it on the plantain? No. Like this. I don't sprinkle. But some people sprinkle? Yes. Hey. I'm not going to try for <laughs> So the salt is for what? To make it tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and at least to wash off any other dirt. That during the other process. Okay. The reason why they fry the ripe one first, first, because mm. now the oil is not hot. Mm. So we'll have sliced enough onto because it's not as easy as it looks. Slice it. Yeah. So if the oil is very hot, it will quickly burn because it's ripe. Yes. Abby. So my me, I have one question. Me, I have one question. Cause me self, I want to start my tension business. <laughs> oh, Why <yeah>. you? <laughs> Why don't you slice down the way that they do for dodo? Like, why don't you slice this down if and turn inside? Down, one, it will have the color will have changed before you fry. Then another thing is that it will stick together. Mm. So, but frying it directly, then you find that they don't stick together, especially this um bright ones. Mm. But if you can slice it or ripe one mm. together, it will not really stick as much. Mm -hmm. But this ripe one, it sticks together. But you're saying something that the, if you slice it down, it will have like black. And the color will have changed. It will not be this bright. That's why sometimes when you see some plantains, they are fresh, but the color is not It's not appealing. fresh. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that I've learned how to make plantain chips, now I'm not going to buy again. <laughs> All the how much are they buy for four thousand? Because something like I love doing it. Mm -hmm. Like some people will say it's stressful. They demand it, though it is, but Mama no like love, it's stressful. If you like doing it, you find that somehow something you love doing is just easy for you. That way, then I just started doing. Then the market accepted it mm -hmm. and is encouraging me more. Like when you after once you buy, you finish, you take it, you don't have more, and somebody is calling you. I need cheap, so mm. then you have to go back to the market. So I'm always in and out of the market. I'm always frying. Because so when you say there's ready markets? Yes. And I keep to telling people that if you want to start this business, if you are patient enough, mm -hmm. there's customer for everybody. Even if you, you have thousands of people in your neighborhood doing it, mm -hmm. I can guarantee there's market for every, for every person. Just that, one, let your cheese be outstanding. Okay. To be ready to walk. Ah, this one you are working on that song. Me, I don't like to work on it. As you say, my own farm work, no parts like this. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, I'm on this in a district. I hope you will be able to get your friends around the street. I can't get a month to send a time. So that's why I'm not going to say I'm not going to be warming to malaria. I'm going to come on motion. So this is the brand she does unbranded so for people that want to go into production and you don't want to go through the stress of um producing she will produce and send down to you this is potato chips 